Uh, I'm Gunmeet Chahan. I'm an architect. I graduated from IIT Kharagpur in 1995. And uh, with two of my friends, uh, Mr. Tivatiya and Anand Sharma, uh, we started a company called TCS Architects. And somewhere down the line, I think it was in 2001 or two, we started another company called Design Forum International. Uh, both the firms continue to practice architecture. Design Forum International does large format projects like uh, retail, uh, shopping malls, IT parks, townships and uh, multi-story condominiums. While TCS Architects does small format projects like individual residences um, and residential interiors and stuff. Now, some of the notable projects that we have done in the retail space, uh, one that really stands out is Select City Walk. Um, this was a project that we started in 2004 and uh, when it began this was one of the largest uh, retail malls to be built in India. It spans about 1.3 million square foot. It is built in about six acres of land in the heart of South Delhi. And uh, what is special about this mall is that unlike most malls which are inward looking, this one has a nice two acre plaza fronting it. And also while you are within the mall and when you are uh, sort of shopping, one has a constant uh, uh, interaction with the outdoor space. Uh, essentially the mall is two and a half floors. It's like a podium with towers sticking out. Uh, there, there's a tower for the offices and a tower for the hotel. And within the podium you have two and a half uh, levels of uh, retail. At each level one is able to see outdoors and we've used um, extensive use of glass there. Uh, especially in the interiors, the shop fronts are seamless glass. So as opposed to normal malls where you would have uh, after every shop some sort of a demising line of stone or steel, uh, ours is a continuous uh, flow of glass. Uh, what that has enabled us to do there is that the interiors has its own existence and all the signage that the uh, shops have is behind the glass. So while it's clearly visible, um, it sort of doesn't scream out. Uh, also, we've used glass uh, very, very intelligently to enable people to see outdoors. The building has terraces, uh, so while you are moving the corridors within, you can see through the glass uh, the greenery outside on the terraces. Even the skylight that we've used in the atrium has bits and pieces of glass there, so that in the day it's, it's totally naturally lit. Equally, when we were choosing glass, we had to be careful that we put glass only on surfaces that doesn't take too much of sun. So most of our uh, glass is on the north and east, and uh, it's also double uh, DGUs. Uh, in the south and west, we've used uh, high-performance glasses to ensure that the heat gain is minimal. Apart from that, we're also doing residential multi-storied buildings and you know today the aspiration is to have spaces that sort of interact uh, with the outdoors and glass is one material that sort of permits us to do that so even there uh, using the right shading devices and the right uh, choice of glass uh, we're trying to sort of give people uh, homes that let the uh, external sort of landscape flow in. In the IT space, uh, we've recently uh, started a building in Manesar, which is 1.7 million square feet. Uh, that project is called Cyberwalk, and that's a pre certified LEEDS goal rated building. And so, a very clear sort of mandate that the client gave us that they want the building to be extremely energy efficient. And equally, uh, they wanted to create a building that was glamorous, sculpturous, and uh, so it had to be a clever sort of blend where we did use glass to, uh, as a material that permits uh, view and uh, delivers a contemporary look, but did not maximize the heat gain. In fact, we have 
some study models of the building in the background where we've used uh, glass on the west facade but we've provided uh, nice 1.8 meter shades in front of it. It's almost like a double skin uh, wherein the we have glass and then we have cantilevers of 1.8 meters and then shading devices of aluminum. So in this building um, we are using DGUs on all the uh, facades whether it is north, east, uh, south or west to minimize the heat gain because of conduction and on the south and west we are again using high performance glasses. We have uh, ensured that we have a light transmission which is 33% uh, to 36% uh, so that we are not uh, just sort of cutting out the heat and also cutting out the light so we have got a lot of natural light coming in. Uh, we are also working on a very low um, index of internal reflection uh, so in the evenings when the sun is down one doesn't get images of the interiors within. I think culturally Indians uh, are a lot more uh, aligned to sustainability than maybe civilizations in the West. We are used to not throwing away things but reusing them and uh, what is happening now is that when the pace of construction and the scale of things has suddenly zoomed up, uh, some of us, especially architects and engineers, uh, have lost touch with that uh, sustainable sort of culture that we had inherited. So what we need to do is again bring that back and create architect architecture that uh, uses passive techniques uh, to minimize uh, the sort of energy that is needed uh, for the operation of, of our buildings.